Now, the topic is food. Oh, here you go. Now, this is one of my favourite topics because I absolutely hate restaurants. And my wife loves restaurants. She's middle class. She's, she's been skiing and everything. <laughs> and she loves a restaurant. She says, can we go to a restaurant at the weekend? And I say, yes, we can. And we're there, we're barely there two minutes, and she's like, isn't it a lovely ambiance? <laughs> and I say to her, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've worked out what an ambiance is. It's a night out without poor people, isn't it, thank you. <laughs> it's people with a few quid to say, can we just have one night out without the poor people turning up? <laughs> you know what they're like, they'll be banging spoons together, singing my man's a dustman. <laughs> Creating an atmosphere, we want an ambiance. <laughs> so we try and enjoy the ambiance. <laughs> but something's happened spoiling it for me. There's no tomato sauce on the table. <laughs> Creating the situation when my wife looked at me, she said, You're going to ask for tomato sauce, aren't you? <laughs> I said, Yes, I am. Because I'm going to have the risotto. <laughs> you can't eat risotto without red sauce, it's too dry. <laughs> safety issue. You've got to shush it up with a bit of red sauce, right? <laughs> so I thought, I'm not having it. I said to the waitress, excuse me, do you have any ketchup in the building? She's looked at me like I'm the worst pleb God has ever put breath in. <laughs> she went off to the kitchen and I saw her making her way back with a pot about that big, about two chipfuls of tomato sauce. <laughs> I thought, oh, here we go. She's tried to put it down and walk away like she's doing a drug deal or something. <laughs> and I stopped, I said, hold on, love, 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 love don't rush off. And I took a sip of it. <laughs> and I looked at it, I said, yes, I'll have a bottle, please. 